Next, we take a look at the Environment and Tourism Ministry. Since the beginning of the year, 47 rhinos were poached in the country, compared to 125 last year. The Ministry of Environment and Tourism has been at the forefront of condemning poachers, but despite their efforts, Namibian wildlife continues to be slaughtered at an alarming rate. At the beginning of 2016, it almost seemed as if the Ministry of Environment was winning the battle against the illegal poaching of rhinos and elephants, as new campaigns led to more arrests. However, wildlife trafficking is a million-dollar criminal enterprise attributing to the increase in poaching. 69 elephants were poached this year, mainly in the Zambezi and Kavango East regions. Earlier this year, the ministry expressed concern as it discovered that those granted bail for poaching go back and commit the same crimes, causing frustration to its officials who work hard to bring the syndicates to book. The unprecedented levels of killings has also compelled the ministry to offer $60,000 to anyone that can provide it with information that may lead to the arrest of those involved. The ministry also lost $20 million in taxpayers' contributions this year through the Namibia Tourism Board. The money was paid to Ernst Ajovi in promotional fees for Namibia to host the failed Kora Music Awards. Ajovi later disappeared and could not be found, while local representatives of the awards distanced themselves from the millions taken by Ajovi. The tourism board, in attempt to recover the money, is taking Ajovi to court. The ministry was also caught up in the controversial phosphate mining debate after one of its environmental commissioners issued a clearance certificate for phosphate to be mined off the coast of Wolfish Bay, despite public outrage. The ministry maintained that an environmental assessment study to determine the impact was conducted. Eventually, the minister was pressurized into setting the clearance certificate aside to allow for more input from stakeholders.